Money to be won, a lot or a little, in Deal or No Deal at 4.15. After Countdown. Welcome to day two of the Elite Countdown Champion of Champions Knockout Tournament. Yes, Rachel and I are back. They've given us another chance. There are <laughs> two L's in gullible, aren't they? Uh, if you were watching yesterday, then you know I'm your new host, Jeff Stelling. We kicked off with a fantastic contest, a really tense victory that eventually went to David O'Donnell. If you weren't watching yesterday, can I suggest you make a belated New Year's resolution? 3.25 every weekday, feet up, kettle on, channel four, spot of communal brain training. After all, this is the show that's helping the country to spell and do sums. Even Paul Merson, he's an ex-footballer. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my colleague and bright young thing, Rachel Riley. Hi, Rachel. Did Hi, you enjoy Jeff. yesterday? Oh, it was great fun, yeah. Uh, Best job in the world, enjoying oh, this. I'm glad to see you've got your Manchester United red on I today. I have any opportunity to put my Man U red on, yeah. Mm, Manchester United fan. Where do you live, Rachel? Essex. Ah, well, there's a surprise, isn't it? Oh, my dad's from Salford, there's my excuse. Yeah. He's a Salford boy. Uh, look, let's meet our contestants today, shall we, for this second of the uh, champion of champions heats. Uh, first of all, Junaid Mabeen, who joins us today as the reigning countdown champion, having stormed to victory in the recent series final in December. As an Octa champ and series winner, Junaid is undefeated and at the very top of his game. And like Rachel, he's an Oxford University maths PhD student, and his proudest countdown moment so far was lifting the Richard Whiteley Memorial Trophy. Best of luck to you. Uh, his opponent today is Tony Warren. Now, Tony is the runner-up of Series 55. In 2006, he lost out in the final to Richard Britton, who we'll see complete tomorrow. Uh, Tony's from Somerton in Somerset. He's a retired computer systems engineer. Since we saw him last, Tony has been giving talks about his countdown experience to local women's institutes. How to impress the girls, eh, Tony? Oh, I've got your Absolutely. card marked. Yeah, yeah. He's also joined the Morris dancing team. Come on, pull the other one. It's got <laughs> bells on it. <laughs> Fantastic. It's great entertainment. Tony, Junaid, the very best of luck to you both today. In Dictionary Corner, of course, the wise woman of the words, Susie Dent. And I'm delighted to say she's joined again today by an icon in British comedy, a lovely fellow to boot, Andrew Sachs. Uh... <laughs> Afternoon to you both. I mean, we've talked about Faulty Towers a little. Let's talk about some of the other things you've done, Andrew. Uh, because you played Dr Watson in a radio series for, for quite a while. How was that? Yes, that's wonderful. It's, uh, we've just done the third series. Is, is it harder to drop into character on radio when you, know, you haven't got all the, you know, the, the kit on, if you like? Well, uh, I've done a lot of radio in the past and I've written a lot of plays for radio, so it's, uh, it suits me, the medium. I love doing it. Because of the discipline of as, uh, channeling everything just into the voice, you've got no visual stuff to help you, is, is quite interesting to do. <laughs> Of course, actors are prone, Susie, to say, aren't they, break a leg. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but, but why do they use that expression? Yeah, it's a good question. There's so many theories as there, uh, there are about so many words. One is that John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Abraham Lincoln, fell off the stage when he was running away trying to escape and broke his leg. It's said to be good luck to, to then say break a leg. Another is that um, in order to show appreciation, audiences would throw money into this, onto the stage and actors would break a leg, i.e. bow down to collect it. Throwing money onto the stage, that's quite appealing, really, isn't it, Andrew? Yes. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, uh, Junaid and Tony, break a leg, if I may say so. Uh, here we go, then, with our first letters game. Junaid, your choice. Thanks. Uh, afternoon, Rachel. Hi, Junaid. Can I start with a consonant, please? You can. We'll start with W. And another one? Y. And a third? F. And a fourth, please. S. And a vowel? E. Another vowel, please? I. And another vowel. Another I. Uh, consonant. P. 
And uh, a final consonant, please. To finish, D. Uh, we're off and running. Here's our first letters game. Let's start the countdown clock. The easiest selection to start with. Tony, how many do you manage? Six. Six. Junaid? Just a five. Okay, what's your five? Spied. Spied. Six, Tony? Swiped. 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 It's yes. fine. It's fine. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> so, what about you guys in Dictionary Corner? Susie's come up with wifeys. Wifeys? Yes, the two spellings. W I F E Y S is a slightly condescending way of referring to your wife. I, was you... I, would, I would get clobbered if yes, I said wifey. Exactly. And you can pluralise that, but you can also have W I F I E S, which in Scotland is simply your wife, my wifey. Um, Tony off and running with six points then in that opening letters game. And Tony, it's your choice of letters. Oh, I'll start with the consonant, please, Rachel. Consonant Tony is all lovely. X. And another? F. And a third. D. And a fourth, please. T. And a vowel. I. And another. Another I. And another. E. And a consonant. D. And a final vowel, please. Finish with another E. And here comes the clock. Junaid. Six. Tony? And six. What's the six, Tony? Edited. Edited. Junaid? Exited. Okay, exited. Six apiece, yeah? Yes, both fine. Can you do better than six? I doubt it somehow. Oh, there is a seven. Is there? Yes. There is. Um, edified. Edified. Sort of to improve somebody morally, intellectually, is to edify them. So edified. Uh, Tony has 12 points and Junaid has six. Junaid, it's your choice of letters. Okay, consonant, please. Consonant S. And another one. V. And the third? R. And the fourth one, please. T. And the vowel? E. And another vowel? E. And another vowel? And another E. Let's try another vowel. U. There we go. Uh, and a final vowel, please. And a final O. You're getting some rotten letters, aren't you? Uh, here we go with the countdown clock. Tony. Six. Junaid? Seven. Seven. Okay, let's hear the six first, Tony. Everts. Everts. And uh, Susie's looking at that. What about the seven, Junaid? Oversee. Oversee. Oversee is excellent. That's very, very good indeed. <laughs> and evert is a verb in biology and physiology. To evert is to turn a structure or organ outwards or inside out. Yeah, excellent. Well done. So, well done. It's yes. there, but unfortunately the seven beats it. Yeah. Uh, anything else, Susie? Uh, there's another over word. Overuse is there for another seven. <laughs> On to round four of the uh, champion of Champions Heat 2. Tony, your choice of letters. Consonant, please, Rachel. An N for you, Tony. And another. L. And again. S. And a fourth. And a vowel. O. 
and another. E. And again. A. And a consonant. T. And another consonant, please. And a final R. And your time starts now. Sinead, uh, how many? Just a seven. Seven for you, Tony? And likewise, just a seven. Okay, Tony, what's your seven? Stonker. Stonker. Stonker of a word. Sinead? Etalons. Etalons, yes. That's absolutely fine, too. Both, both good sevens. Uh, lots of sevens there, actually, Jeff. Um, senator and Antlers. And, Andrew, I think you've got and one. Is loners? Loners, yes, lenders. So, quite a few sevens. Okay. So, a mighty close contest at the moment. Junaid has 20, Tony has 19. Time for our first numbers game, and Junaid, it's your choice. Uh, can I have any six small numbers of your choice? You can, Junaid. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, your first numbers we have 10, 4, 8, 6, 9, and 5. Oh, almost. And a target, 921. So, 921 the target. Tony? Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Junaid? 920, not written down. 920. Well, let's hear it. OK, 6 add 5 uh, is 11. Uh, 6 add the 5 is 11. Times 8. Times 8 equals 88. Add 4. Add the 4 gives you 92. And times 10. Times the 10. Yep, yeah, 920. One away at 7 points. Yeah, well done, Junaid. Uh, so, 9 to 1, Rachel. I couldn't Here's beat 920. I couldn't, couldn't beat it. No, it must be there, I'd hope, but um, didn't get it on this occasion. OK, never mind. Uh, seven points to Junaid, well done. 27 points he has. Tony has 19. You can sit back for a couple of minutes, fellas. It's uh, time for a tale from Dictionary Corner. Andrew? Yes, I want to talk about the army. By the time I was uh, 17, I knew exactly what I wanted to do do as a career, and that was to be an actor. But it, something got in the way, otherwise I wouldn't be here sitting here, I'd be a big star like uh, De Niro or somebody. However, mm -hmm. something got in the way, it was the army. I was called up for national service, so it ruined my career, but I went up to Catrick, your, um, Catrick Camp in Yorkshire, uh, to be in the Royal Tank Regiment. Tanks, claustrophobia, I couldn't bear the th even the thought of it. I did my initial training for eight weeks, and then I was asked to choose a trade. So uh, they gave me a list to look at. I could be a, a tank driver, God forbid, and then a vehicle mechanic or a signaller. I didn't even know what that was. Uh, so I spoke to the sergeant who was interviewing me. I, s I said, look, uh, this is not right for me. I would never find any fulfillment in it, this kind of stuff. Um, uh, let me just explain to you, sir, that... Uh, Call me Sarge, he says. Oh, sorry, sir, the Sarge, yes. Let me explain to you that I am, in, in civil life, actually an actor. That means I'm a, a sensitive, artistic creature, and I find no happiness in doing what you're asking me to do. So I would very much like to be moved to the uh, entertainment section of the armed forces, like ENSA, if that still exists. Uh, that would really make me happy. So what do you mean, you're an actor? I said, yes. That means you ponce around like a pufter on the stage, is that it? I said, well, I wouldn't put it like that, but yes. He said, well, he said, uh, of course, I want to make you very happy, Trooper Sachs. I said, in my, in my interest, you've got to be very happy. I'll tell you what I've got to do. I'll put you down as clerk. Now go away. <laughs> well, he didn't actually say go away. He said something much ruder, but uh, this is Countdown, not the Russell Brown show. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, 
That's the... In fact... <laughs> In fact, I did manage to achieve some distinction in the army for the rest of the, uh, my period in the army, in that at the end of it, I, uh, I became the only soldier in my whole intake, which was a big one, in the army for 18 months in the Royal Tank Regiment, who never once went inside a tank. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful story. Uh, Junaid has 27, Tony has 19. Uh, time to take a short break. Here's the first tea time teaser of the day. The words, a new skill, and the clue, they leave his nibs feeling black and blue. They leave his nibs feeling black and blue. Uh, they leave his nibs feeling black and blue. Of course, the answer was inkwells. I remember inkwells. I imagine that a lot of people don't, but they were the things you used to dip your pens in so you could flick ink at your classmates. Fantastic <laughs> things. Uh, Junaid has 27 points. Tony has 19. On to our next letters game. And Tony, it's your honour. Have a consonant, please, Rachel. You can, Tony. S. And another. R. And again. Another R. And again. T. And a vowel, please. A. And another. O. And another. E. And again. Another E. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. And a final N. And here's the countdown clock. Junaid, how many do we manage? Uh, seven. Seven. Tony? And seven. Okay, Tony, what was your seven? Roaster. Roaster. Junaid? Uh, serrate. Serrate. Yes, as in serrated edges. That's absolutely fine. Mm, difficult little set of letters, weren't they? Anything yes. more than seven? Well, there was an eight there. Uh, yeah. Resonate. 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 <laughs> Junaid has 34 points. Tony, 26. Here's round seven. It's another letters game. And, Junaid, your choice this time. Thanks. Uh, can I have a consonant, please? You can, Junaid. N. And another one? S. And the third? R. And the fourth? J. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel? U. Uh, another vowel? I. And a consonant? G. And the final vowel, please. And E to finish. And time starts now. Tony. I'll try an eight. Try an ace. Junaid? I'll stick with a seven. Well, let's hear your seven first of all. Injures. Uh, Tony, let's hear your attempt at eight. <laughs> Seigneur. How are you spelling that? S E I G N E U R. Ah, certainly that Seigneur and Seigneur we will always find in there. Um, Dwight de Seigneur was the right of the, uh, of the master to, have to do certain things in his house to see if it's still there. It certainly is. A feudal lord or the lord of a manor. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, Tony. And it brings the scores absolutely level. 34 points apiece. That's what you'd expect. They are champions, after all. Uh, here's the uh, next round. Another letters game. And, Tony, your first go. A consonant, please. T. And again. N. And again. 
N. And again. C. And again. M. And again. And another L. And a vowel, please. O. And a vowel. And U. And a final vowel. And A. And here comes the clock. Junaid, what have you got? Uh, just a six. Six, Tony? And a six. OK, let's hear your six first, Tony. Amount. Amount. Junaid? Outman. Outman. Yes, that's okay. absolutely fine, too. Six apiece. Yeah. Can we do better than that over there? No. Yes. Well, well, talcum. Talcum. It is another six. Persian word there, talcum, as in talcum powder. Mm. Uh, and once again, they are inseparable, Junaid and Tony. Both have 40 points. Here's round nine. Junaid, your choice. OK, consonant, please. Start with D. And another one. Q. And the third. S. And the fourth, please. P. And the vowel. Oh, there's the U. And another vowel. A. Uh, another vowel. I. And another vowel. A. And a final uh, consonant, please. To finish, G. Interesting. Uh, clock starts now. Tony. Uh, just a five, I'm afraid. Just a five, yeah. Junaid? Uh, I'll try six. Okay, let's have the five first, Tony. Squad. Squad. Uh, Junaid, let's uh, quaid. Have the six. How are you spelling that? Q U A I D S. Um, no, I've gone from Quai d'Orsay in France to Quail, but no Quaid, I'm afraid. Bad luck. So the five wins Sorry. it. And Tony <laughs> nudges into the lead by 45 points to 40. Uh, Susie, of course, since yesterday we've all been busy pre cycling. <laughs> What word are you so. looking at uh, today for us? Well, another new word that I think will make a lot of viewers cringe, because <coughs> I know, <coughs> excuse me, American words aren't always in favour, but this one is very American. It's staycation. So instead of going on a vacation, these days, during the credit crunch, which has to be the phrase of last year, you go on a staycation. In other words, you stay at home, or at least you stay in your own country. And it's very much in vogue. Um, holidaying in the UK is apparently very hip in celeb land because of its low carbon credentials. Uh, Naomi Watts, Nicole Kidman, Jamie Oliver have all been staycationing. And I'll just say, it um, adds on to another word which I hated from last year, which was a mancation, which was a holiday for men only, incorporating, and I'm quoting here, stereotypical guy activities like sports, Sports, drinking and chasing women. Those mancations sound fantastic, they're me. <laughs> All for them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another numbers game with Tony leading by 45 points to 40. And Tony, it's your selection of numbers. Rachel, ladies' choice. Oh, thank you. Oh, I might have to stick with two from the top then. I thought you were going to be cruel with another six small. <laughs> right, here we are. Seven. Five. Nine. Three, and then 150. And the target for the boys, 579. OK, 579. Junaid. 579. 
Tony? 577. Seven. Okay, well, let's hear that 579, Junaid. Okay, uh, 100 add 7. Right. 100 add the 7. Uh, time is 107. 107. Times 5. Times 5, yeah. 535. Add 50. Add 50. Take away the 9. Minus the 9. Add the 3. Add on the 3. Yeah, very good. 579. <laughs> Well done, Junaid. Rachel, tell the truth. Did you do it? I did. I did exactly the same as Junaid. We've obviously been, both been Oxford trained and they've trained us well. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> OK, well, well done to both of you. Uh, we're going to take a couple of minutes short break while I plan my mancation. Um, <laughs> let's have another tea time teaser. The words are Susie won't, and here's the clue. You might wear this to visit John and Peter. You might wear this to visit John and Peter. See you in a second. Now, the answer to our tea time teaser, you might wear this to visit John and Peter, was, of course, snowsuits. Uh, it's day two of our elite countdown champion of champions knockout tournament. And at the moment, Junaid has a narrow advantage over Tony. He leads by 50 points to 45. Let's have our next letters round. Junaid. OK, can I have a consonant, please? You can. Start with N. And another one. T. And the third. D. And the fourth. E. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel. Another E. Uh, another vowel. I. Um, a consonant. M. And a final vowel, please. To finish, another E. Here's the countdown clock. Tony? Stick with a five. Five, OK. Uh, Junaid? Stick with a six. Stick with a six. Let's hear the five that you're sticking with, uh, in that case, Tony. Debit. Debit, OK. And the six? Dement. Dement. Yeah. OK. Um, what came up with bedtime? Is that one word or two? That is absolutely superb, Jeff. It's, mm. it's stolen our thunder. It's, it's one word. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anything else, Susie? Nothing else, I'm afraid. OK. Yeah. Uh, Junaid's 56 and Tony, 45. Uh, Tony, your choice of letters. A consonant, please. L. And another. S. And again. G. And again. H. And a vowel, please. E. And another. O. And another. A. And a consonant. And R. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. And a final M. And the 30 seconds starts now. Junaid? Seven. Seven from Junaid. Tony? And a six. And a six. What's the six? Homers. Homers. Junaid? Jailers. G-A-O-L. E -R. Yes. OK. Anything better than that, Just Susan? Fine. Um, yeah, there are um, a couple of sevens, and I think, um, Andrew, you've got an eight there as well. A couple of sevens are homages, um, and also garals, G-H-E-R-A-S, a countdown word. It's a protest in India, uh, which has a long definition, but that's there for seven. But, Andrew, you've got an eight, I think. Armhole. With an S. You can add an S Arm and that's holes. eight armholes. Okay. Well done. Well done. Uh, 
Uh, it's getting critical for Tony because Junaid has 63, Tony has 45, so a bit of pressure on. It's our last letters game. Junaid, your choice. Okay, consonant, please. Okay, Junaid, N. And another one. P. And the third. D. And the fourth. Z. Excellent. Can I have a vowel, please? A. And an another vowel. E. Uh, another vowel. I. And the consonant. R. And a final consonant, please. And R. And here comes the clock. So, Tony. I'll try an eight. <coughs> try an ace. Okay, Junaid. Just a seven. Let's see the seven first. Parried. Okay. Let's have the uh, attempted eight then, Tony. Prandise. Prandise. Sounds like it should be a word, doesn't it? Yes, I know prandials and you know postprandial drinks and that kind of thing. Um, when does this the same link? No, it's not there. I'm afraid. Prandial is there, but not prandise. Bad luck, Tony. So, Junaid, seventy points. Tony, forty-five. At the moment, uh, let's have our next numbers game. And Tony, it's your selection. Well, I ought to choose one numbers game in all my run on countdown, <laughs> so I'll have that's fair. one large and five small. Oh, that's please. nice and friendly anyway. One, two, three, four. So the numbers nine, oh, and again, oh dear, five, seven, three, three, all the odds, and 75. Target 892. 892 then. And the boys both looking pretty confident. Tony? 892. Junaid? 892. Uh, Junaid, you show us your method. OK, uh, 9 add 3 is 12. 9 add 3 gives you 12. Times the 75. Times the 75 gives you 900. And then 3 fives, the other 3, times the 5 is 15. 3 times 5 equals 15. Take that away. Yeah, so 8, 8, 5. And add the 7. Add the 7, yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> And Tony, was yours the same? Well, the first line is the same, yeah. and I then said minus five, minus three. Also very good. Ten points each. Well yeah, ten points each. <laughs> uh, so we come to the uh, conundrum with Junaid um, in control. Pride at stake here, Tony. Uh, fingers on buzzers. Please reveal today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> Junaid? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony, you get the rest of the time. OK, nobody got it. Uh, let's see if we can put you out of your misery, is the answer. Absurdism. Absurdism. Uh, so, Junaid goes marching on. He uh, wins this heat of our champion of champions. Congratulations, Junaid. Commiserations, Tony. Tony, well played today. Uh, you take away the uh, glass countdown clock. Junaid. Well done. We'll Thanks. see you again in the last eight. You know that thing I said about thriving under pressure, yeah? Yeah. Clearly not true. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, many thanks once again to, uh, to Susie and Andrew. By the way, if anybody, Andrew, is thinking of booking a staycation at Catrick Camp, because it sounds quite nice, doesn't it? Probably not the best spot, is it, for that? No, outside the camp is very nice, on the moors, lovely. Mm. But the not camp nice. itself? No, I don't no. think so. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. The race course is very nice there as well, by the way. Uh, Rachel, enjoy the day? Yeah, great fun. You know you, you said that you might finish up as a goalkeeper one day? Yes. When well, you caught those numbers, maybe yeah. that's a position for you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> OK, hope you enjoyed it once again. Don't forget, 3.25, we're back tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Switch Over is coming. To find out how to get digital TV and your favourite programmes like Countdown, log on to channel4.com slash digital TV or select text page 106. Next today, our very own set-top boxes in Deal or No Deal.